What we have here is an HE351VE um, turbo off of the 6.7 liter Cummins. It's a 2007. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and these turbos have issues. I just had it rebuilt about 10,000 miles ago by a G-Pop shop in Arkansas. Uh, and I had trouble with uh, spooling and things like that. Really smoking a lot. <coughs> so I pulled the actuator off. Uh, to re see if I can recalibrate it, but uh, in my checks on the turbo, I found that the sector gear here for the VG nozzle uh, wasn't either wasn't set up right or it uh, somehow moved uh, in the 10,000 miles it was on the truck. So what was happening is the VG nozzle was going full closed uh, prematurely, so it was failing the test, the alignment test uh, on the computer when you install a new actuator. Uh, so what we're going to do is reset that sector gear to the correct setting so that the VG won't bottom out prematurely. Uh, well, that also means that it wasn't opening fully either, so that probably explains some of the smoke. Uh, I hope so anyway. So I've made a, an alignment tool, just a kind of a rough cut, made it out of aluminum on the lathe. Uh, this is 187 diameter, 0.187 of an inch, as well as this step here. It steps down to 0.125 of an inch. You'll use uh, the big pin in this side and the small pin in this side for full open. Uh, you can see, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. That's how that'll go, and that holds that in position. So what we'll do is we'll push this thing all the way back in. We have an Allen head right in there that we've got to loosen. So we can push that all the way back in. Make sure our pin's in. Also you can set it on the fourth tooth. One, two, three, four. Right at the opening of this hole here, this recess. Uh, you can also do that. I think the pin's going to hold it in place a little better than that. Uh, just eyeballing it. So then we'll just go in there with the Allen head. Allen key and tighten it up. This should be it. Uh, and then we'll swing it back and forth a few times and check it. Let me find somewhere to put my phone so that I can do this and we'll start it. Okay, it's a 5 millimeter Allen key. Uh, and again, this is an HE351VE. Uh, and I, the later model's called a, like an HE300VX or something like that. Um, I don't know if that one has holes. It seems like it has lines or something else for alignment. So. I don't know if this one would apply to the 300 VX or, uh, VG or not. Okay, so you turn it full closed, it's easier to get to. And you know what, I'm going to get a... Okay, now so you can see that moves. Um, the sector shaft moves without moving the nozzle. The other thing you want to make sure of that it's not sitting on this face here because as things heat up it might bind. Uh, so I'm going to stuff a feeler gauge under it when we tighten it down. I'm probably just going to put you know, a couple thousands. You know, 23,000, that'll probably be plenty. Yeah, that looks good to me. Alright, so push that all the way in. Okay, our pin's in place. This is the stepped one that goes down to a quarter in, or an eighth of an inch from three sixteenths. Stuff that under there. All right, that's all the way. Oops. Okay, it's all the way in. You can see I've got the feeler gauge underneath there. My pin's in place. And, hmm. Well, there's a little interesting tidbit. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to tighten that thing up in that position. 
So what I'm going to try to do, got a, a ball end on here. If I can get it snugged up to where it'll move, I can put a little tightening on it later. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, I think what we'll try is tighten it a little bit so that it, it drags, but we can move it. Not there yet. Too tight. And this was G Pop Shop solution to fixing this. They weren't super eager to have me uh, to take care of it for me. They wanted me to mail it back to them, so that would be, you know, hundred bucks for the shipping just for a pretty pretty simple procedure. Well, I say that. We'll see if I can finish it. Okay, there we go. Now we can feel it drag a little bit, but we can move it if we need to. All right, let's try this again. All right, put our pin in place. Put our feeler gauge back out. 23 thousandths. And there's a, that's not a spec, I'm just picking one. Um, probably get away with a lot less. Let's put in 10 thousandths. There we go. <coughs> Push our VG nozzle all the way in. Okay. Now we'll see if we can put any little bit of tightening on it. Nope. Alright, so we're just going to have to pull this out the same time we pull this up. Hmm. is going to work or not. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get to both uh, open and closed positions with the alignment pin. Open. Closed. Okay. There you have it. Um, yeah. Okay. Shoot. Might be all there is to it. And in the Dodge Service Manual, it it, just, it shows if you can't put the pin in both positions that you've got an issue. And that's kind of how I, I figured out that I had an issue. All right. Well. We'll put it back on and test it <clears throat> before we fill this thing up with coolant see if it'll work. So, I hope that was helpful to somebody. Uh, one thing, I'll just kind of a quick overview of this. This is just a standard HE351VE. Uh, it does have a Batmobile installed. Uh, and again, this is the VG nozzle, which causes all the problems. And it slides in and out, run by an electrical actuator. Um, commanded by the ECM. This ring here is a sealing ring. Once it's on the exhaust housing, it holds it in place so that it can't go in and out, or can't, uh, can't move, I should say. And that seals exhaust from getting inside, uh, back behind this thing. All right, I hope that was helpful. Okay, I wanted to also show um, the turbocharger actuator alignment. Um, unfortunately, I already did the pre-align and put the servo on and already ran the check, so I forgot to show up. But what I can do is show you the VGT 
actuator self calibration portion, which is the second part. So the first part, you put your alignment pin in with the uh, the uh, sector gear towards the rear of the vehicle into the, the smaller of the two alignment holes. Uh, and then you run the pre-alignment on that on the actuator with it off of the turbo. It'll sit there and run back and forth a few times and then tell you it passed. Then you put the actuator back on, uh, take the pin out, put your actuator back on without moving that sector gear. And then you come up here to, I don't know if you can see it or not, that's the last one, VGT actuator self-calibration. Select that, we hit done. Tells you to follow the manual. Uh, you can see the last one was passed. Try it again, we hit the next button up here in the corner. And then you can hear the thing making noise. And we come up here and it says pass. And we're done. That's all there is to it.